looks like top on the agenda for uh, the general secretary and, and the team is first of all they are unhappy with uh, Mao Sampa's conduct and we understand that there is uh, a petition to have him expelled from the patriotic front. That is not, uh, that is not on top of uh, the secretary general and the team's agenda. Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa to be on top of our agenda? For what? For what? He's going to make life difficult for you to no, mobilize, no? No, 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 I can't. We have gone through difficult uh, challenges. Like, uh, for me, uh, I've been in this game for quite some time. I was in MMD, and uh, we passed it through Mao's uh, uh, tricks uh, five, ten years ago. So we know them. We know these tricks. So we can't put uh, Mao's tricks as a priority on our agenda. No, 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 no. no. Mao Sampa. Who is he? Are there plans to, uh, to, to have him expelled? Who is Mao Sampa? Mao Sampa is being handled by the, the structure from uh, Matero, uh, the district, and the province. We can't have Mao Sampa to be on top of our agenda. That is insulting the integrity and the leadership of the PF. We have a lot of things to think about. Mao Sampa, to think about Mao Sampa. Who is he? He's just one member of our party and uh, is coming from uh, the ward and the constituency. So the constituency, the ward, the district, the province, they will deal with it. For us, uh, we will just uh, be uh, informed and uh, given the, uh, the report and it will be just one of uh, the reports like many other reports which we receive when we sit in uh, central committee meetings. And we can't say priority in Mao Sampa. No, that is insulting the integrity and of, 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 of our leadership. You are saying all of us, uh, we start thinking about Mao Sampa. For what? Mao Sampa, me, I can go in Matelo and win more votes than Mao Sampa did. Okay? So why should we, why should we talk about him? Why should we put him as a priority? Why? We have a lot of things. Priority number one is to, to look at the affairs of the people of Zambia, the people in Lukulu, the people in Shangombo, the people in, in Wengwa, the people in northwestern province Chavuma, Kasempa, Kabompo, Maninga. Those are the, our priority number one, not Mao Sampa. Our priority number one is to make sure that we protect the people of Zambia. We rescue the people of Zambia. The people of Zambia, they have said we can't afford to buy Mirimi at 312 kwacha. That is our pre that is our preoccupation. Not Mao Sampa. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mao Sampa is being uh, dealt with by uh, our uh, our constituency district uh, provinces area rooted to. Us, we will just uh, be given a report. And that report, it will come to a central committee, definitely. It will come and we'll look at it. But it, will, it, it won't be a priority because our priorities are not uh, in those areas. Our priority is to reorganize the party and save the people of Zambia. You, you are known for uh, aggressive approach in terms of mobilization. Do you think... And, and you end that name, Bulldozer, mm -hmm. as a result of your mm -hmm. aggressive uh, approach to mobilization. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, this position has been given to you based on the fact that uh, uh, you have those qualities? Definitely, you can't give a position uh, to the person who can't handle the position. You can't. You can only give the position to the person who can handle the position. So, I will agree in affirmative with what we are saying. You have mm. seen the qualities. Let's, let's move to allegations being made that uh, uh, former president uh, Edgar Chagualungu mm. is uh, uh, being mistreated by this government. 
What is the position of the party the which he the, led? Yeah, the position of the party is that they are not allegations. They are things which we are seeing. President Lungo was invited in Indola. The invitation was everywhere. And the people invited, President Lungo invited also the minister of the province. And President Lungo traveled to Ndola. And he was blocked from going to church. Just going to church. We had thousands of police officers. I was there. I escorted President Lungo. I'm from the Copper Belt province. And I thought it was prudent for me to be there. And I was there. And I saw what was happening. And to make matters worse, the people who came are the people President Rungu promoted through Inspector General of Police during his tenure. Mr. Bwaria, he was uh, at State House and was transferred from State House. He went into Ndola as a district commanding officer for Ndola. We saw him and we were very shocked. Okay? We saw another Mr. Mwape. Uh, also, he was promoted by President Lungu. Okay? So, it is not uh, allegations. It are the things which we are seeing. Okay? We had to move President Lungu from Mondola into Lusaka by road because we can't stand the embarrassment which uh, the police caused to the head of state, the former head of state. So, we moved him from Mondola by road into into Lusaka. The embarrassment at international uh, KK International Airport, that thing cannot be tolerated actually to the former head of state. The head of state wanted to go to South Africa for medical checkup and it was uh, the, the, the state declined his request. So all those things are not rumors, are the things which we are seeing, and the people of Zambia are seeing all those things. So for me, I would want to urge uh, the government of His Excellency, President Akainde Ichirima, when it comes to the 60th uh, President's office, I think there is a way of dealing with the former head of state than causing this embarrassment. They are causing this embarrassment, thinking the people of Zambia, they will be against President Edgar Chagalungu. First and foremost, President Lungu governed this country for seven years. And he protected this country for seven years. And uh, we should just uh, give him that respect as a former president of the republic. And to me, the government today, they would have made President Lungo as their best friend. And they have, have gained a lot of things from President Lungo. Remember that President Akainde Ichirima has just been in government for two years. And we can't say President Akainde Ichirima has managed to learn how he's supposed to govern this country in two years. It is not possible. It is not possible. In most cases, if we can just uh, look at the statistics in Africa, most presidents who managed to be president in these countries, some of them, maybe they were uh, ministers or deputy presidents or secretary of a party. But President Akainde Ichirima just the, is just fr straight from the corporate world. And the dynamics, see, they are not the same. So in this game, he would have benefited a lot if he had made President Lungo as his best friend. Remember, we only have one former president. One former president. And uh, if our president, Akainde Ichirema, I would have made President Lungo has my best friend to gain a lot of things from him.